everyone. So earlier I posted a little quick video just to tell you I was shopping this in my annual sales and um, I finally did get out to them. I'm a little disappointed with the selection that they had by the time I got there and it was just, you know, I couldn't do it. There was Christmas, then the day after Christmas was all family and then the next day I didn't want to do anything so I just stayed home and I kind of kept my eye on things online but then I think that next day things were like mega cheap the candles were like nine dollars instead of eleven and you know it just it just didn't work out but I did place a real quick order online for soaps and stuff and I will do a video when that comes in but this is the real quick purchase that I made when I actually went to the store the only candles they had left were the mason jar candles that was it there were no three wick candles I was a little disappointed because they didn't have any and I really wanted cinnamon frosting in a three wick but I got three mason jars instead these were six bucks and it says top off holiday celebrations with the scrumptious scent of grated cinnamon and cloves vanilla bean and whipped buttercream I don't know what it is about this candle I just had to have it you know not that winter is over but to me like I'm not really gonna burn a whole lot of holiday scents but this could be done at any time it doesn't necessarily have to be a winter scent it's not like it's pine or anything like that but even that I'm, I'm melting um, something out in the family room that has pine in it right now so I don't really care but uh, obviously people liked this scent because it was sold out online um, on the day that they had like nine dollar candles so that was all I could find at my store I think they had tis the season and there was one more too that they had that it was all mason jars though that's all they had left although there were boxes and boxes of candles sitting off to the side but I was reading the labels and I think they were all for the summer or for the spring so I, I was just going to be out of luck on that. I think Espresso Bar was the only one that I recognized. And I don't even know if I think that one was on sale too. So that might be one that they restocked just for that. And they also had like um, London Calling and, and things like that. But uh, Tuscan Herb and all that. Um, but I already have enough of that. So I didn't, I didn't want to buy any more of that. But if they had like Pumpkin Cupcake or Cinnamon Frosting Mary Cookie, I was going to get what I could on that and any of the fall fragrances I was going to get because I'm, I'm completely out but six dollars three mason jars six dollars a piece not bad and I also used a ten dollar off forty when I went um, I picked up pumpkin cupcake wallflowers um, I'm excited to try this I haven't even finished burning my pumpkin cupcake candle yet, but that's because I'm kind of saving it because I don't really want to, I don't know, there's some, I just really like that candle and I didn't get more than one, so I really am just holding on to it. Um, I believe I paid $6 for the two bulbs, and then I went over to the wall where they had the loose bulbs. And I found something that I cannot believe I didn't know about, and that was sugared lemons. I, I know, that's like right up my alley. And strangely enough, somebody had opened one, so I actually opened it and I could smell it. It was like, holy moly, I think I grabbed four of these. And I think I'm going to go back one more time, and if they have any more of these... I'll be picking that up. And there's no description on here. So I don't even know how to describe this to you. It's just a sweet lemon scent. It's very nice. Um, for those of you that think lemon is a very cleanery kind of scent, I think this kind of strays away from it because it is sugared. You get a real sweetness to it. It's not just a straight up like citrus scent. Um, although I wouldn't mind either one. They did have just regular lemon there as well, but I wanted this one because I'd never heard of this before. Um, and then the next one I got is Vanilla Bean Noel. And I don't know what it is about this fragrance. It's just that creamy, sweet vanilla. And I know that out of 
all of the fragrances you can pick. Why is this one so popular? And it is. It comes back every year. And it's just, it's a classic. I just, I can't, I don't know. And I only bought one. It's, it's just for, I don't know. I guess if I really want my kitchen to smell very sweet and vanilla-y. I mean, like, I have a lady at work that wears this. Every once in a while, she'll have Vanilla Be Noel on. And she keeps it in her classroom and stuff sometimes. And at least she used to. <clears throat> anyway, the moral of that story, you know, the whole thing about, behind that story is that anytime somebody has this on at work and I walk by them, I can instantly tell you what it is. It's just a real distinctive vanilla. And it's just, it's like, vanilla but so much more and it, it's kind of hard to to describe and if you've ever purchased a noel fragrance from um candles by victoria or any of those other vendors orchid lake um front porch i think was popular with it and so was um haley's heavenly scents it's just a, a sweetness to it that is not regular vanilla Alright, so next I actually picked up shower gels. I said no to the shower gels, but then when I saw them I was like, you know what, I didn't have any left. I have used up all of what I have. Um, I was a good girl. It's been a long time. Go ahead. It's semi-annual sale. This is really the only time you're ever going to buy stuff like this, unless it's in the teeny tiny trial bottles. So I picked up Rome Honeysuckle Amour, and I'm out of the honeysuckle that I have, and since... Not that I'm trying to rush winter here, but it's just kind of got a real faint honeysuckle, sweet honeysuckle. And I, I think this actually has some more fruit in it than just regular honeysuckle, um, which is one of the classic fragrances that I have. And I only have one more bottle of it, so I don't want to use it up. But this uh, reminds me of that, but it's uh, just a little bit more. It's got some extra added fruit and whatnot to it. And, you know, I actually like these um scents that I picked because they had apple in them and it's not they were kind of going through this phase of making up these fragrances that had musk in them and there was another note to it that I just it didn't it just didn't work with my skin and it just left me like stinking like I couldn't handle the smell like in a wallflower or a candle it was great but if I actually used the lotion or the shower gel it just didn't it didn't work for me so I think they finally have found that happy apple scent that I'm looking for that nice fruit the fresh fruit um, I'm trying to think what the name of those it wasn't the citrus line or was it they had apple um, peach and then there was another one and they, they just were not good for me I mean I bought some because that's what I thought you know, oh, this will be great. And I think I did use all the shower gel, but I, the lotion I just had to give away. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it anymore. Um, anyway, though, um, with Rome, Honeysuckle and More, and then Beautiful Day, I really get those nice fruity fragrances back. Um, this one has, I love how they break it down, like your top, your middle note, and then what it's supposed to smell like dry. Um, Beautiful Day is apple dewy pear sparkling cassis correct me if I'm wrong I totally could be pronouncing that wrong cassis cassis um, and then your mids are wild daisies lily of the valley fresh pink peonies um, and then dry white peach blonde woods and creamy musk well I don't care it smells like apples and Notice I didn't buy any lotion. And reason for that is I have plenty. And I did, like somebody gave me Pure Paradise. And then I got another bottle of this already. And I got spray. And then I got Forever Midnight in a lotion and body wash for a gift. So no lotion. I got plenty. It takes me a very long time to get through it. I used to like put it on all the time. And now I'm lucky if it gets all the way up past my elbow, just because I've got so much to do. Um, I've got another little human being I have to take care of, so, you know, her needs become 
my needs. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Sweet Pea, I was so excited to see this. The creamy body wash, I love this stuff. Mm. I feel like I'm getting the lotion and the body wash all in one container. And let's see, what does this go for? Twelve fifty is what it says. And I'm in love because it was three bucks. So it's been six bucks. I paid half the price for one and I got two of them. So really, really excited about that deal. I believe the Rome honeysuckle was three or four and the beautiful day was five dollars a piece. So not the biggest haul ever, but it still was a good purchase for me. I did use 10 off of 40, and I did get a survey coupon at the end, so I'm very excited. I am hoping to go back one more time before the end of the semi-annual sale. I don't know when this ends. Um, I'm going to guess the 20th. I know that's when Yankees end, so I might be mixing the two there, but I will try to pick up a few last things if I can, any more candles or anything else. So, anyway, that is, that's it. If you have any questions about any of it, let me know. Um, I'm so glad to be back, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.